All right, what's going on everybody? It's Tristan and today your boy did just get up a little bit ago But actually it wasn't a little bit ago because I've actually spent a lot of time organizing this video right here I want to make sure that I actually discuss some sneaker investments and some past releases that are actually going to be worth your time That should go up and I'm very confident in these ones Like I went through a lot of different releases some other ones I was like I may include this one and you know I tossed a couple out added a couple in just made sure I really put some good investments in this video that I will actually probably even get some self uh, get myself some I actually already own um, but most of these I haven't even discussed so these are gonna be new to you all and they're just kind of a couple I'm throwing in there that I bet they will go up uh, kind of you know through the summertime because most of these are summer shoes so we'll get into it and some are trending right now so I hope you guys will enjoy this video if you all want more sneaker investing videos more kind of how-to cop content anything like that feel free to go ahead and subscribe below and drop a like I'd appreciate it again the goal for this video I'm just gonna make two 10 likes again i've gone for that before so if you could hit that that'd be cool but if not it's not the end of the world just hitting that goal kind of lets me know that you all want more content just like this but yeah hope you all will enjoy join my discord down below if you also want to that's just something else but now let's get into it all right so as you guys can tell i do have the screen recording up right now and your boy did change his ig profile picture i know i know the picture is coming soon stay tuned but uh, yeah, just go check those down below if you all want to again always mention those right there So first one I I've mentioned I know I've mentioned this one before but I do not think I've mentioned it in grade school sizing I mean this one is a $550 shoe at least $600 shoe at least in grade school sizes Because uh, I mean there's no more pairs of this one obviously dropping and it's still I, I consider it still underrated on price So Jordan 4 metallic purple grade school sizing you could read it on the screen right there uh, Pretty much all sizes are still going for under 500 bucks and even like a 7y is right now $400 and I know that might sound like a lot to some of y'all and like even you know to me I'm like, you know $400. I'm not just like, you know tossing it out You know, I'm gonna put it somewhere where I actually would invest in it, you know um, but yeah, I mean seeing that that's underrated to me at least and you see how you have some already going for like 588 600 like I mean that's just kind of a sign to me at least when I've done most of these when you see you have some bids or not even bid sales So actual people that have bought it for like 500 bucks like 600 bucks right now and it's going for 450 I mean that just leaves still like another hundred dollars on the shoe for it to go up and you can go look at the um I mean I own a pair of the metallic uh, reds here. Where are my metallic reds? Uh, I own and wear my pair of metallic reds. You better wear your shoes But I mean these these are still going up too. any met any of the metallic colorways go go buy any of them These they're, they're like the most underrated uh, sneaker investment in my opinion I mean not really underrated but like in terms of like they used to go for like 180 bucks and I remember being on it and being like yo these are underrated yo these are underrated and people are like you're tripping why did you buy a pair of those for 280 and I was like okay well I guess I'm not tripping now because you see you would definitely pay uh, 280 for a pair right now in any of those colorways but can't do that because it's not available anymore so you know that I remember that being kind of like the start of some of my sneaker investing stuff uh, just kind of when I was used to buy shoes uh, that I think would go up in value and then just kind to wear them uh, until I could actually sell them for more after wearing them which you know that's pretty cool that's I did that with the Jordan 1 turbos uh, shouldn't have ever sold those ones though but yeah this one right here again you can go look at some of my videos where I discuss where to buy shoes properly and all that and you can ask in the comments if you need to know where to get pairs or anything uh, like for this shoe right here because I, I still see a lot of room in grade school and adult sizes I mean it's it's just gonna continue to go up with time this is one of those shoes um, I mean it's a let it's I would I'm not gonna just throw this word out there but in terms of like legendary colorway it's not like something that's like everybody's gonna remember like throughout time be like oh yeah this was the shoe of um, you know our generation or whatever or anything but it's one that like you know people are gonna know about and they're gonna be like oh yeah this one like I, I know the shoe goes for like a, a K now you know just over time that's how it is uh, it's a good looking pair of shoes and they're not restocking them anywhere so that's what I see I see a lot of room on any of the metallic colorways but this one in particular uh, most popular of all the metallic colorways is purple so grade school sizes for that in my opinion perfect investment right now especially when you still have room to go up but the next one i want to discuss is the jordan one mid laser blue uh again as you all know jordan one mids are in right now i got my pair of signal blues i need to get my hands in a pair of turfer oranges and uh more signal blue so uh if anybody got those for sale you can hit my dm on instagram or if you got university blues taupezes hyper royals any of those dm me i mean hey i'll be giving i'll be giving y'all the sauce but you don't be selling your boy no pairs what i'm just messing around i'm gonna go find some but aside from that jordan one mid laser blue right here this one is definitely underrated on price i see at least all colorways going for like 220 250 but i mean you can see every single one is actually under 200 dollars right now so i mean they're still like i think you see the only one <laughs> size 16 is 250 but nobody that nobody's gonna buy that in my opinion at least but you see how they're pretty much all under 200 dollars right now i mean this is definitely an investment 
in my opinion, especially when you see how it's kind of slowly, you can kind of tell uh, it's slowly going up. It is uh, over time, but I mean, that is again, still uh, worth investing in, especially if you bought more pairs, then it would definitely be worth your investment. And yeah, I've noticed the progress even on the last like three months, you can see it's a little bit more noticeable. It was down here by like 140, 150 ish. And you did have a couple up here by 170, but that's just, so you can see it's more like sporadic. And now you actually have more sales kind of at like 170, 180. You can see you're not finding really any below uh, like 165 right now. So kind of seeing that uh, and seeing how it used to be at this point of like uh, consistently selling for 165 and now it's kind of consistently selling for 180, 190. I mean, that's slow progress, but again, uh, this is just over kind of last like two, three months right here. So it's not anything really too crazy. Uh, but again, I see this one, it's not really at its point of going up yet. I know the title of this video says skyrocketing. That's why some of these ones uh, do have already gone up a lot and they will continue to. This one right here, I mean, I think it's kind of at that point where it's going to very soon. Cause I mean, it's a good looking pair of mids. I'm not a huge mid fan, but this one's actually pretty clean. It's simple, uh, like, you know, the kind of white, black and blue all on it. It fits and that's kind of why I think it works. It's a good summer shoe. Again, anything Jordan in the summer, you know, people go crazy for, uh, and you know, that's just kind of how it is. And I mean, again, mids are trending right now. So just seeing this one kind of as like an underrated mid and mids again, I've been doing well. Most have been going up that are at least look good. Uh, I think this is just another good looking mid that is definitely going to go up and you even got a couple bids at like 200 and stuff. So, you know, people are starting to, well, uh, starting to pay more for these and kind of the all around view of these ones. Let's see if that should give me an all around view. I mean, they, yeah, they look pretty decent. Like they're like, this is a clean shoe for, for a pair of mids. I'll give it to them. This is actually pretty clean. So yeah, again, shout out Nike and Jordan on this one. I actually really think this is a good looking pair of mids. And I think it's extremely underrated. Uh, the fact that they're under $200 is actually surprising to me. So yeah. That's what I and another one after this again. This one did drop in 2019, so we are discussing a very, very past release. But the Jordan 4 Retro Bread, uh, I've been having my eyes on this one lately. Um, since I, I know it's kind of heading in the summertime again, uh, people love the bread colorways in the summertime and anything Jordan 4 right now, Jordan 1, Jordan 4, Jordan 11. Uh, what else? I, I'm Jordan 3 sometimes, anything like that is really trending right now, and dunks, but dunks are kind of on the downfall, however. Fours are not on the downfall, nor will they really ever be. I think people will love fours till the end of time. Uh, Nike's been making them and along with Jordan forever. And you can kind of see the progress on these ones. I was just kind of showing the last three months here, but you go look all time. I've noticed uh, recently on these ones, they've been doing, uh, they've been going up a little bit faster than usual. And I know people would usually say, okay, you shouldn't invest in releases that are super old. And I understand that, but um, I, I don't, I can't explain why this is all of a sudden, like since February, it's just been on this straight upward trend. And I mean, that's a really good sign. Again, I don't think it's going to stop. I mean, it's a, this is a really good pair of Jordan fours. It's a very well-known pair of Jordan fours. Anybody could rock these. It's very easy to wear bread fours. I mean, it's just a good looking pair of shoes. And you kind of see right now, you can see the kind of heading around, you know, 450, kind of that's around the price of them. Kind of see you got some around 430. Uh, you know, it really just depends on what size you get. Like a size seven may go for like, you see 500, kind of again, size eight around 500. But I think these ones are going to keep going. I really do. And I mean, you know, especially into the summertime, we're heading up on the two year anniversary of it. I mean, I could definitely see these ones being above 500 all sizes. Um, and I mean, you can kind of see they're at like, what, 476 right now. It's what they're saying but i mean i think we still got a ton of room on these ones uh in the meantime because i mean i think they're going to keep going and what this said this said four this said 476 on march 8th yeah four 476 on march 8th okay now you go look at all of them uh, a little bit later so the, today isn't march uh 8th today is the i think today's the 15th so a week later and a week later look i can't find a pair for 476 they're all 480 and 490 so these ones are continuing to do progress. I don't know why they're all of a sudden hitting, uh, you know, the little upward slope so crazy. But yeah, Jordan 4 Retro Breads are skyrocketing right now. So if you want to go get your pair, go get your 2019 edition pair and make sure you get them dead stock. Or just, you know, if you want to buy them used to make some money, I get it. But I mean, that's probably not the best time to do that now. That'd have been, you know, if you did, got them for retail or something. But uh, investing in these, I, I'm kind of looking into this one because I, I really can't explain why it's going up so much. I mean, it's heading towards like, it's heading towards 550 fast and it's not slowing down. So, yeah, I don't think, I mean, I don't see these ones going down in the summer. It really wouldn't make sense to me for a pair of breads and a pair of Jordan 4. Like, it just, it, no way it goes down. I'm sorry. This one I'm very confident in. So, yeah, probably uh, out of all the ones, the one I'm most confident in would be Metallic Purple Sundays. So, yeah. So those are kind of the three ones I wanted to just throw in there that I'm 100% confident in. And I actually wanted to throw in a couple freebie ones. I wasn't even going to discuss these ones. I wasn't going to put them in the video, uh, but I kind of just added them in because I just wanted to, you know, toss you all a couple more ones that I think are a little bit underrated, kind of under the radar right now. First up, Jordan 11 Retro in the white Concord colorway. 
as you all know, Jordan 11s kind of always been popular. They've always been uh, kind of like a known model. Everybody knows what Jordan 11s are, uh, and especially the low model. And I noticed this white Concord colorway, which is especially clean, is, you know, not really, I mean, it's like slowly making progress, but I mean, it's it's still underrated. Like this shoe is not bad looking. I mean, I wouldn't personally rock 11s anymore. I used to rock 11s, but I just, I don't know. I don't know if I could, I don't know if I could rock them, but you know, I definitely think I could get a good looking pair of 11s. I used to rock, I used to own the Midnight Navy snakeskin pair. Those are going for big bucks now, so I kind of regret selling them. Uh, but yeah, after, you know, that, I mean, 11s are, are popular, so you know, they're never like really out of style, I'd say. Uh, you know, every, some, someone's always got like 11s, you know what I mean? So uh, some of y'all probably watching this video got 11s. So this is just one right here, woman sizing only, another thing too. Just, you know, I think we're gonna see some good progress on these ones over the summer. At least, you know, they'll continue to do the little rise that they've been doing. So at least 30 bucks on them, I'd say. And the Jordan 1 mid paint drip, I mean, uh, even the Jordan 1 uh, low uh, paint drip ones, I mean, this one, especially just because mids are in, but I mean, yeah, just just wait. Just wait till this one over the summer. Uh, I think it'll be doing good. And also the Jordan 1 low paint, uh, paint drip. Where is it at? Yeah, this one right here. This one is an amazing investment too. So you better go get pairs of these ones and the mid ones. So that's all I got to say right there. A little six investments I threw in there. First three I'm most confident in, but you guys can go look into any of those ones because I have a good feeling those ones will go up. So I just ended that. So, you know, hopefully it's not. Now you're just seeing me. I don't know why I'm talking about the screen recording anymore, but yeah, that's all I got to say for the video. Go invest. Well, hopefully this outro isn't, you know, having the annoying ticking sound in the background that uh, my camera sometimes does because your boy just got distracted by Instagram on his phone uh, and, you know, just was scrolling there and completely forgot to record an outro. So if y'all want more content like this, again, I always make videos like this. I've been doing sneaker investment videos for a while now, for, for real. So <laughs> yeah, you know, y'all can go again, subscribe for more content like that. Drop a like too. Again, the goal in this video is just 210 likes. I've always asked, I've asked for that plenty of times. Not always, but I have asked for that plenty of times. So yeah, that's really everything I gotta say, you know, just feeling calm, feeling genuine, honestly. You know, we got we got a really good day today. It's sunny as usual. I mean, I, you can never complain when you got, you, you're you at college by the beach. I mean, I'm, I'm blessed to go here to COFC. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to say the least. Uh, but yeah, you know, I'm gonna keep investing. I definitely need to. Since I've been taking a lot of L's and sneakers, I just need to put my money into investments uh, this month, to be honest. That's what I need to do. So I'm about to put the YouTube check into University of Luz, so. I'll see you on the next video, hopefully, and my Instagrams again, if you wanna go check this by the Discord. They're right there in the description. So I'll catch you on the next one, hopefully. Peace.